Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safety webcast. In this video, we're going to see the steps on how to add new guest user account in Azure Active Directory using Azure Portal. You can invite new guest user to collaborate with your organization by selecting invite user from the new user page. If your organization's external collaboration settings are configured such that you are allowed to invite guest the user will be emailed an invitation they must accept in order to begin collaborating you can invite guest users to the directory to a group or to an application after you invite a user the invited user's account is added to azure active directory with a user type of guest the guest user must then redeem their invitation to access resources keep in mind that an invitation of a user does not expire guest users can sign in with their own work school or social identities so let's see the steps to add a new guest user account in azure active directory for that we need to access and log in to the azure active directory portal you can access azure active directory portal using the url https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com on dashboard i'm going to click on azure active directory we are using the user account with global administrator role to add guest user in azure active directory under manage click on users here you can get the list of all the users and guest users in your azure active directory to add a new guest user click on new user plus icon you will have two options here we'll go with invite user option as we want to invite a new guest user to collaborate with our organization the user will be emailed an invitation they can accept in order to begin collaborating if you want to invite guest users in bulk you can click on the link below i want to invite guest users in bulk now add the guest users information under identity section and the users display name here in my case it is going to be manhar rakhulia and the email address of the user you would like to invite to the azure active directory type the first name and last name for the user type the custom message to send with the invitation link to this user okay here i have typed the personal message which i want to send with this invitation you can add this guest user to one or more existing groups or you can do it later If you require Azure Active Directory administrative or any other kind of permissions for the user you can add them to an Azure Active Directory role by selecting user next to roles So first we here we have a option for group you can select existing group but that I'm not going to do right now and then we have a option for a user role and we can select any directory role if you want Now let me close it Then after we have setting for block signing and which is set to no by default and we want to keep that away. Then choose the location. In my case, it is going to be India. So let me click on this drop down arrow and type India. Select India. If you want, you can define the user job information as well as manager information. I'm going to skip it. Now click on invite button. to automatically send the invitation to the guest user on provided email address wait for the confirmation we can see the confirmation message that we have successfully invited the user uh, here we can see the message successfully invited user manhar rakhulia uh, let me close it under users we can see the guest user confirm the user type guest and creation type invite we can see manhar rakhulia 
here user principal name user type is guest and creation type is invitation now sign in as the guest user to see the invitation open new in private window sign in to your taste guest users email account in the inbox we can see the mail microsoft invitation on behalf of msft webcast let me click on it we can see the custom message which we have sent with this invitation hello would like to welcome you to the msft webcast organization as a guest user to accept this invitation we simply need to click on accept invitation once you click on accept invitation link it will create a new account for you it will be just like an alias account of your but if you have microsoft account then there is no need to create alias account once you accept the invitation and complete the process successfully you can use your email address to sign in and access the shared resources from azure active directory now i'm going to click on accept invitation to accept this invitation to add this user account as a guest user in azure active directory so i'm going to click on accept invitation link it will open a new tab for me here we can see a uh, certain permission information is there that this resources is not shared by microsoft this is shared by ms update webcast here we can see this kind of permission they need sign in you in read your name email address and photo if you want to accept it then click on accept and you can see now we are on a my apps page uh, since we don't have any application published in our azure active directory that's why we are seeing there are no apps to show let me show the email address here we can see this is our email address using this we are accessing my applications web page so in this video you created a guest user in the azure portal and sent an invitation then you view the redemption process from the guest user's perspective and verified that guest user in azure active directory that concludes the video on how to add new guest user account in azure active directory thank you all for watching this video have a nice day